hello everybody welcome back to my channel so in this video we are going to talk in detail about sap abap stream so accenture offers this stream when you get onboarded within 10 days you start getting mailers regarding stream choices and there you may fill these choices based on your preferences so knowingly or unknowingly if you are going to choose sap abap so i will tell you what happens here so the agenda of today's discussion will be based on stream choices exam pattern and the duration of that stream so stream is sap abap i previously mentioned it and uh, what happens in sap abap sap is like system application product and abap is the perfect field for technical people if you want to do hands on in any new strategy new technology choose sap abap because there, there you will be asked to get the role of developer or product manager whatever it is the project demands or okay. after choosing this stream you may land up to two things they are like for two months you may have stream training or other option is for six months so if you are landing on the six months page you will have to face four mcqs in that duration after that the final viva which is compulsory for all streams and for all trainings in accenture because after that only you are their employee or not they are going to keep you or not they will decide and for two months you will get two mcqs only so that's the major difference between six and two months training so six months training is really long and really slow uh, in between you will get project calls you get to sit with your project teams you get some kind of assignments from them to test your knowledge so it's a slow process and it will go on okay but for two months people it will be like regular training you will have training regularly for 10 days and after that i don't know if they call you for project or not or just they wait for final viva but their paper pattern is little different from the six months people so for two months you will have two exams two mcq exams and final viva and that exam pattern will be like 40 question carrying 40 marks but for six months people it is 20 question carrying 20 marks so it's that different for two months people you have to study very much according to your syllabus because uh, for 40 marks you can get any kind of questions right and for 20 marks people they have just limited portion they have to study for whatever has been taught within that month and that's enough for them on that basis only their exam will be scheduled so the duration of stream training is like two months and six months for six months you will get those uh, lkm modules from the learning team of accenture and here also for two months people the modules will be different but the matter there will be same at the last but learning strategies will be different so that matters the most what kind of module you follow and what kind of learning you are asked to follow so just maintain that kind of gaps in between after that what if you fail most of the people question me about that what if we fail in stream training so nothing to worry i've mentioned it a lot of times that after you fail in your stream training you get two chances they are rt1 and rt2 so for rt1 you have to prepare for whole syllabus like from primers to the last the end day of your stream training program you will get full syllabus and that's really hectic because if you aren't giving anything on the monthly basis only you aren't scoring good marks i don't think rt1 can be that easier for you because you have to score 60% average there also to get qualified for the next terms. So RT2 will be after RT1. If your RT1 is not successful, you don't clear it out, you will be scheduled for RT2. You get mail from their team that RT2 has been scheduled for you because you have been failed with this, this, this marks and you just have to appear for RT2 also. Same criteria, full syllabus and 60% average no difference you just have to need to focus on that because most of the people go till rts but after that they succeed so it's not that difficult to 
after that what is the scope of sap abap see it's a new term we haven't heard in our colleges we haven't learned it anywhere we are just facing this new field in accenture only and after that somebody is saying that debug this code and do this or do that and we don't know anything about this language we have learned only java c c++ and all all the basic programming languages so what is the scope of this language if you land down with this language what do you have to do so there are four important scopes i have jotted down for you they are sap abap consultant you can be the consultant of sap abap after that java developer if you know sap abap it's gonna help you in java also then sap administrator and sap basis soul man basis is really good field and extremely in demand also it's a lot easier than abap so that's all for today's video guys i hope you liked it and i hope i cleared your doubts if you have any more then please do write in the comment section or dm me on instagram thank you